Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, my name is Dan San. Um, I'm uh, also from UC Berkeley. Uh, I'm, and uh, so I'm a director at uh, uh, Berkeley Center for Responsible Decentralized uh, Decentral Intelligence and also affiliated with the Chai and uh, uh, Bear. Uh, so uh, it's been, you know, it's really exciting to, to talk about machine learning, other great advancement, and so on. But coming from security background, uh, one message I really want to get across uh, uh, to this audience is that as we talk about all the great things uh, machine learning can do, it's really, really important to consider the deployment, uh, the development and deployment of machine learning in the presence of attackers. So history, especially in cybersecurity, has really shown that attackers always follow the footsteps of new technology development, or sometimes even lead it. And also this time, the stake with the AI is even higher. As AI controls among more and more systems, attacker will have higher and higher incentives um, to attack these systems. And also as AI becomes more and more capable, the consequence of misuse by attackers will also become more and more severe. And hence, as we talk about AI safety, it's really important to consider AI safety in the adversarial setting. So adversary examples has been shown to be prevalent in deep learning systems. Um, by, and my group has done a lot of work in this space, and many, uh, uh, and many other researchers also in this audience have done a lot of work in this space. And uh, pretty much we have shown that adversarial examples are prevalent to essentially all different tasks and model classes in deep learning. And also there are different types of uh, threat models, including black box and white box attacks. These are all can be very effective, and even uh, attacks can be effective in the physical real world as well. And it's great to see that uh, the number of papers essentially has increased exponentially uh, in, this, uh, in the area of adversary examples. And, uh, and also, uh, this work has also helped raise a lot of the awareness in the public as well. So some of our work, the artifact from our physical adversary examples are now actually part of the permanent collection at uh, the Science Museum of London. And also adversary uh, attacks can happen at different stages of machine learning pipelines, including at inference time, uh, as well as at pre-training and fine-tuning uh, stages. So as we talk about uh, AI safety and AI alignment, it's important to look at uh, what adversary attacks can do in, uh, for, uh, in the setting, in particular on safety-aligned uh, LLMs. So unfortunately, recent work has shown that really the safety-aligned LLMs are pretty brittle and uh, adversarial attacks. So this is our recent work, um, Decoding Trust, which is uh, uh, it's the first uh, comprehensive trustworthiness evaluation uh, framework for large language models. And essentially, we developed um, a new uh, evaluation data sets as well as uh, new protocols for evaluating trustworthiness across uh, eight different perspectives for trustworthiness uh, uh, for, uh, for LLMs, uh, including toxicity, stereotypes, robustness, privacy, and um, fairness, and uh, many others. And in the development of our evaluation framework, we uh, specifically set out to both include the evaluation under benign uh, environments as well as adversarial uh, environments. And our work showed that for um, these large language models, uh, so for example, GTV4 can perform uh, better under benign environments, for example, than GPT 3.5. But actually, in adversary environments, uh, GPT 4 could actually even be more vulnerable than GPT 3.5, potentially because it's actually better at following instructions. So it's actually, in some sense, easier to jailbreak. And uh, given the interest of time, so I won't go through these, uh, so these are examples for these uh, different uh, perspectives. And also, you can learn more information at decodingtrust.io and also come to our presentation on Tuesday morning. And also, there are other uh, researchers' work demonstrating uh, other types of uh, attacks, uh, adversarial attacks on LLM. So, right, so our work also showed that, for example, the attacks on open source models can be transferred to closed source models. And uh, Zico is going to talk more about their attack on universal adversarial attacks on um, uh, tomorrow as well. And other works have shown that adversarial attacks um, on multi models and also 
uh, adversarial fine tuning where you can actually use very, uh, a very few adversarial uh, designed training examples through fine tune to completely break so, uh, safety aligned LMs. So the key message that I want to get across here is that so in adversarial uh, attacks, the field has made tremendous tremendous progress. We have, we have collectively come out with so many different types of uh, attacks, but however, for adversary defenses, the progress has been extremely slow. So literally, we really don't have effective general adversary defenses today. And hence, for AI safety, it's really important for the AI safety mechanisms to be designed to be resilient against adversary attacks. And um, uh, so this actually poses a significant challenge for AI safety. And I think my time is up. So just one word to summarize. The <laughs> so so, so uh, part, uh, part, partially to address this issue, so in some recent work, also uh, with collaborators here, and Dan Hendricks uh, led this work uh, with some other collaborators here, uh, we have a new work on representation engineering to essentially look at the... the um, uh, the internal uh, representations uh, activations from uh, the uh, the LM and showing that we can identify certain directions um, that can help identify whether uh, the, uh, the the LM is more honest or is more truthful uh, for representing reading and using these uh, internal directions we can also control the model behavior.